When will she die? Now, <laughs> now you can see at the early part of 2022 that would have been quite acceptable, a bit funny, right? But as we as we got to September, the eight it did seem a bit callous, right? So we dropped it from the set. Uh, but now we can do it again uh, in the spirit of wonderment. And, uh, and no one expected the Queen to die at 96. For fuck's sake. <laughs> you know, that's a lot younger than some of you people in the room tonight. <laughs> and the Queen Mother lived till 375. So, came out of the blue. <laughs> Ooh, we, Prince Charles is now our king. Can you believe that Dick's our fucking king? Ooh, that means Camilla Parker Bowles is now our queen, consort. It's the one thing the queen asked before she carved it, right, at 96. One thing she asked, please never call her the queen because she's she's a slutty wench. She's a trollop, she's a slatten, she's been through all the pastoralists in Kent. Just call her queen consort because she's a tramp. But what did he do as soon as he became king? Crowned himself, called her the fucking queen. Ooh, we Camilla Parker Bowles. Ooh, we is already very old. Ooh, we she looks like mounds of dust and smells like weed. <laughs> Let's not judge too harshly at this point, because it'll be a very fucking long night if you do. Let's just get on board and roll with it. Ooh, we Prince Andrew. No. Ah, don't touch that. No, no, no. Don't touch no, that. No, 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 no. We are not touching that. <laughs> Which is a lesson his mother could have taught him, I suspect. Yeah. She was still alive. Ooh, we they're queuing for the Queen in the longest queue in human history. Ooh, they wait ten hours. Just to see her royal box. <laughs> oh, yeah, three claps. <laughs> now I've got to warn you, you've got to jump onto this now because it gets darker from this point here. <laughs> so you want to really grab onto this at this point. Should we talk about the royals just briefly? What use are they? I know it's a lot of old people out there, probably monarchists and royalists scattered throughout this audience of greens and uh, <laughs> I just uh, I just want to talk about one royal that we don't seem to be talking enough about and that is Prince Andrew and this man right what did we call him back in the 80s who's oh fuck you're all old enough who remembers what we called him back in the 80s Randy, Randy fucking Andy what's he now the pedophile prince that's not that's not a great life journey is it it's not a long way Virginia Defray is the woman that accused him of raping her when she was 17 in Jeffrey Epstein's apartments, right? Jeff, do you know Victoria? Yep. yep. Defray, yeah? Incredible woman, powerful woman. She has spoken her truth even though she was attacked mercilessly by the Murdoch press. Yep. Uh, she was attacked constantly by the British aristocracy, by the hierarchy in Britain. And she was attacked by the royal family, probably the richest and most powerful family in the world. A family who generally get rid of their of their friends and their enemies by fucking chopping their heads off. Yes. Right? A family that have so much power, they could probably make a car crash seem like an accident. <laughs> yeah. They did it, you know, they fucking did it. Do your research! <laughs> Do your research, Lennox Head! Do your fucking research on that! What was the first excuse? Who remembers the first excuse when, when Prince Andrew said, oh, couldn't have been me, couldn't have been me in that room that night, right? Couldn't have been me because I was where? Where was I? Pizza, Pizza Express. <laughs> if the lies are creeping through the fucking community, you can feel it. The Woking Pizza Express, right? Eighth in line for the throne, no one on the staff recognised him, none of the other punters in the restaurant recognised him. Eighth in line for the throne. No one knew he was there. But he remembers clearly what he had at the Pizza Express in Woking. 
He had a pheasant pizza with crispy dolphin fins. <laughs> He said, you must remember, you must remember that night. It was a wonderful night. I was there with my daughter. You must remember my daughter. She's the one I felt up at my mother's funeral. <laughs> Not a fucking lie, though, people. Not a fucking lie. What was the second excuse? He doesn't sweat. He went on a BBC program, internationally televised, and told the world he doesn't sweat. He said, I went to the Falklands War. I was a soldier in the Falklands War. A lovely time in the Falklands War. And, and every time I was shot at, I got this, I got this incredible rush of adrenaline. Every time I was fucking the Argentinian boys with their lovely brown eyes and their soft chestnut-coloured skin. <laughs> we're getting on board. I think we're getting on board now, aren't we? We're warming up to it. Okay. What else doesn't sweat? What else doesn't sweat? Pigs, hey, yes, yes, you gotta go through all the fucking mammals. What else doesn't what else doesn't sweat? What what's the one thing we know about the royal family? The one bit of gospel truth. Huh? There it was. They're fucking reptiles! He's gone on an internationally televised program and said to the world, We're fucking reptiles! <laughs> Do your research, find out about people! <laughs> So we could go on and on and on and on and on about the worthlessness and uselessness of the royal family, right? But we've got to find some joy and some hope. Let's look at uh, England generally. What are some of the, the best things about England? Huh? Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Yeah. 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 these people like, they're the best people you could possibly hope to meet at a, at a Berlin train station after they've just lost a friendly with Germany. I have decent human beings. <laughs> what else has England got going for it, apart from the best weather, 24-7? <laughs> well, according to Johnny Rotten, they've got no future. This is for the English people in the room. England! England! Your great ones, a dynamo, champion of the world. I don't know, but some things I overheard. You gave in to xenophobia, arrogance, and greed. You were lied to by a bus, by a wank of Oxford talk, so you grabbed your bag of ball and took your leave. From the European Union, what the hell were you folks doing when you screwed the pooch and said, God save the Queen? And she paid you back by giving 12 million quid to her kid. And no one that's a fucking stuck up English island. And a pedophile prince. But good God almighty, me getting Harry. I'm gonna have a baby. Take that union jack off my flag. No one wants you anymore. You're a symbol of oppression and colonial war. We've got a dead queen. Shit king, royal pedophile. It's time to chop their heads off and crown Harry, young Harry, crown Harry, Harry Styles. <laughs> you know they're done. A violation. You led the world through two world wars with typical British applause. Well then, England. What the fuck went wrong? You're all just Stephen Morrissey. You're an aging whale. Your new king's a cocker spaniel. Best friends with Jimmy Savile. The royals have done more damage than the blitz. No wonder you're embarrassed. You gave the world Rob Harris, Rupert Murdoch, and his goddamn awful kids. Yes. And you all pay tax to ensure these little suckers stay rich. This bunch of disconnected inbred of a class twin <laughs> And their pedophile friends But good God almighty That you can Charlie Lydia's a lady Killer, lady killer He did it! You know he did it people oh. You know he did it <laughs> One clap, we lost the other two So take that you jack up the flag We're all going to the park 
were once a brutal empire, now you're a global law. You chose fuckwits, Brexit, Prince Andrew and the Nile. And while we're on the topic, we know you're 